hi guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be messages for the collective let's see what's going on what does spirit want the collective to know at this time okay let's see how the collective's person feels about them at this time how does the collective's person feel about them at this time what are they thinking and feeling about the collective at this time? Spirit, what's going on? What's the messages? The magician is here, so manifesting, okay? This person is manifesting you, all right? They want you to come here or they could be doing magic for you. So we're going to see here, all right? What's the magician card? I'm getting actual magician. Maybe you guys have a performance or something. What's the magician card? Yeah. Hold on. Let me see what this is. The Ten of Pentacles. So, okay. The star. All right. And the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So... This person is manifesting you here a relationship, a, a long-term relationship. Some of you could be manifesting money or fame or something. But I'm getting somebody to star or a healer or a, a influential or very influential here. Very beautiful, serene, elegant energy. I'm getting the sauna and a lot of spiritual baths here. But the Ten of Pentacles, I'm getting, you guys are doing very well. Maybe you're getting a raise or influx in play or or you got a higher position here. But I'm really getting a beautiful energy off this year. So let's see. Yeah, the Tower card. Okay, Scorpio and Aquarius and Gemini energy here. Okay, what's the Tower? I'm getting a miracle or something's just going to happen or you're going to get this money. Maybe, maybe a, a spell you did regarding money here maybe you're, i'm getting something that's going to be very surprising to you here yes yeah, seven of pentacles that's loyalty waiting investing maybe you're putting your money maybe you're watching your money grow here or all of a sudden this money is in your bank account and you're like what the fuck maybe it's something you've been waiting for yeah we got the six of wands What's the tower? I'm getting all of a sudden. Wait. Yeah, the six of wands. Okay. So I'm getting you guys are. Um, if you're in the public eye or you, you know, high, you have a high following with the six of wands. Okay. I'm getting somebody, I'm getting somebody's growing a high following here, like a lot. Maybe you're putting in a lot of work here. Maybe you're gaining your yeah, the will of fortune and the nine of cups. I'm getting your you're you're in a very good place here. Okay, I'm getting this is a good tower that's here with the ten of pentacles. All right. We have the knight of coins. Yeah, stability here. I'm getting with the Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting, I'm getting you invest your money well. A lot of stability here. Okay, a lot of recognition here. A promotion. I'm getting like generational wealth. Yeah, the Sun card, Leo energy, and the Eight of Wands with the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. Okay, so I'm getting yeah. You're very happy here. Good news coming in. Eight of Wands. This could be about a relationship here. Two of Cups in the high front. I'm getting somebody may call you or come towards you and tell you that they want a relationship here with you. I'm getting all of a sudden somebody wants to build something with you here. Somebody holds you on a very high pedestal here. This is an offer with the Knight of Pentacles that somebody could have been, um, that could have took forever to offer to you. So you could have been waiting for this offer for quite some time here for some of you. Or this is, the, the Knight of Pentacles is very methodical. So this is somebody who, who may have been wanting to make this offer towards you for quite some time. The Six of Wands is victory. What's the tower in the Six of Wands? 
Yeah, this is the Six of Cups is here. So this is someone from your past. Could be a Scorpio. That's maybe all of a sudden coming in. Yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles. So two Sixes. Well, no, three Sixes. Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Six of Cups. So six, you're Six. I'm getting Sixes represent talents and Libra. That's a Libra number. A lot of balance here. I'm getting you guys are being patronized here, making a lot of money here with the six and to the ten of pentacles here, seven of pentacles. Yeah, the five of cups. So I'm getting lost. Maybe you feel lost or maybe you lost something. All right. Yeah, we have this is the uh, two of pentacles here. So I'm getting a lot of passive income here, making good money, okay? Yeah, we have the death and the ace of cups. So Scorpio energy is here. So this is someone from your past with the six of cups, all right? So this could be somebody here, um, that sees you in the public eye, you're doing very well, you have a high following, you're loved, you're being patronized here, you're getting a lot of donations, people people just really love you here. And I'm getting somebody could be watching that even though the Page of Swords isn't here yet, or somebody knows that. This is someone's, it complete, things completely ended out with here, Two of Pentacles. This could have been someone that was juggling you in the past or indecisive. Somebody could have been very arrogant, they felt like they could do what they wanted to do or have a lot of options or that they could keep you waiting or that you would wait. I'm getting you didn't. I'm getting somebody thought wrong. Okay. You actually manifested this wealth here for yourself, the stardom, this fame. I'm getting like an overnight success here with the star, the tower, and the six of wands. Somebody blew up overnight. Literally. Somebody's gaining a following here too. Lots of money coming in. Okay, I'm getting somebody wants a second chance, Ace of Cups. They're still in love with you. They want a second chance to, to come back in. Yeah, the Palace of Pentacles and the Lovers. Somebody's in love with you in the Palace of Cups. Deep emotional love for you someone has here. What's the Death card? What is the Death card? Death card, please. I'm sorry, too many fell out. What's the death card? Yeah, we have the justice. Could be dealing with the Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a legal situation. Maybe you're getting a payout or some money here from a legal situation here. A big payout. Something you've been waiting for. Well, it's coming in. You're gonna the six of wands, the yes, an outcome is gonna go in your favor. If this is regarding child support, some of you could be receiving that. If you've been waiting on that, that could be coming in here with with the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. So you're going to be surprised. Maybe that's going to shock you to see this money in your account or getting this money or whatever this is. Because I'm getting you, you've been waiting for quite some time with the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. And some of you could have a legal case coming up here. Maybe it's regarding child support or maybe some kind of payout or passive income here. You're going to get the outcome that you want here is what I'm getting. Yeah, we have the... um two of cups at the bottom here so i'm getting um yeah the two of cups and the queen of coins i'm getting somebody's in love with you with the king of cups and the high priestess the justice is here what's the justice i'm getting somebody wants a second somebody wants to we have the chariot coming out cancer energy this could be regarding a car accident for some of you this this uh, money that you're receiving through this legality that's going on, this could be regarding a car or or something like that. Yeah, what is this? The Ace of Pentacles. I'm just getting that somebody wants to check in a second chance. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. This person from the past, they want to charge in towards you. Okay, they're come that like I'm getting like yeah the Empress Libra energy. Somebody could be pregnant here. But I'm getting this person sees you as the one. Yeah, the empress and the hierophant. This person may even want to propose to you or be with you or somebody wants to get married here. Somebody wants, I'm, yeah, I'm getting a proposal with the ace of pentacles. That could be a ring. 
the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress with the Hierophant. These two cards together could be a proposal by itself. But with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like somebody wants to get you a ring. I feel like it's going to shock you or take you by surprise here. Yeah. We have the, the Six of Swords and the, and the Judgment. This could be someone that lives at a distance from you. It doesn't have to be a far distance. It could be 30 minutes, another city, whatever. Or it could be longer. It doesn't matter. But somebody here is coming towards you. This could be someone you moved on from. Definitely someone from your past. They want to come towards you. I'm just getting an energy of coming straight towards you here. This person may call you or they want to. But with the death here coming out and then the judgment over here at this end. Somebody wants to reconcile this. The Ace of Pentacles, Chariot, and the Justice. They want to make something fair. Someone can't let you go. Four of Pentacles here. House of Swords. Somebody's watching you. Yeah, Five of Cups. Somebody's in regret. I'm just getting an energy of wanting to make something fair. A Libra is significant here. Okay. What's this energy for the collective? I'm getting, yes, the Two of Cups. I'm getting somebody's in, like deeply in love with you. The, the star card, somebody holds you on a very high pedestal. They love your energy, your power, your strength, the way you carry yourself. All right. I feel like this person feels left out in the cold and rejected by you. Somebody feels very like... I don't know. Yeah, the hermit. I'm getting you ghost this person or you're in no communication. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a um, Virgo here. Could be a Libra here. A Pisces. An Aquarius. A Gemini. Okay. A Cancer. If I didn't say Cancer. Yeah, the hermit. We have the Temperance and the Queen of Swords. There's that Libra again. Somebody could be a double Libra. All right. And here's Libra again, Two of Swords. So I'm getting somebody, Um, yeah, the Queen of Swords. I'm getting you went cold on somebody. You're not communicating them. You went completely ghost. Like you're not dealing with this person at all. You moved on, Chariot, Six of Swords. Somebody definitely moved on here. And I'm getting somebody has a completely emotionally detached themselves from the situation. And somebody wants to come in and reconcile this temperance. They want to balance things out. I'm getting this person feels a very, very much at peace and balanced with you. I'm getting two people that see things the same way. They see things eye to eye. A very balanced energy here. But I'm getting something could be over with the death card. I'm getting, I'm getting somebody snuck off to. I'm getting somebody snuck off to be with somebody else here. Could be somebody like a younger fire sign or water sign or or somebody somewhere. Could be at a distance. I'm getting that didn't work out. Or if they if it if that hasn't happened yet, it will be happening. Where something's not gonna work out there. I'm I'm, I'm getting somebody's gonna really regret betraying you and stabbing you in the back because I'm really getting that energy here. Yeah, we have the King of Swords, the King to the Queen of Swords, but this is a, this could be a counterpart. There's a, the Temperance is between the King and the Queen of Swords, so this is a very balanced energy. Two people that see things the same way. Counterparts with the Two of Cups, that's the perfect bl blending of energies. That's like a twin flame connection, very deep. The Lovers to me is a soulmate connection, but the the Two of Cups to me is a deep soulmate connection. That's like a mirror reflection of yourself. Yeah, we have the Four of Wands and the Queen of Cups with the Palace of Wands. All right. Somebody feels like you're like you're the one for them. Somebody here is very popular with the Six of Wands and the Star. 
All right, we have the Fool card. Yeah, somebody wants to start over or a new beginning here. That's all I'm getting here. Somebody would, would love to be able to, to, to take you out or invest in you or spend money or somebody wish that they had. You're their wish fulfillment here. All they do is think about being with you. They're very nostalgic. They regret taking forever to make this offer and not moving towards you. Now that you've moved on, somebody wants to make an offer. They want to get married, propose, start over. Yeah, page of wands. What's the messages here? All right. Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting that you're going to leave this person out in the cold. Or that or that this person feels like you're going to reject them. Or they feel like you put up boundaries. Or they, I'm getting they just feel lost. Yeah. Yeah, the Four of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you've emotionally, yeah. But the Four of Cups, the Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups, you've emotionally detached and you went on to find your fulfillment because maybe this, this relationship wasn't. What's the Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles? Yeah, Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to apologize here. Yeah, we have the lovers. They're in love with you here. Yeah, in the Palace of Cups. A lot of a lot of love here. All right, a lot of it. We have the two of cups and the lovers and the, the, like this is a perfect match perfect blending of energies here absolutely yeah the strength and the eight of pentacles what is this energy yeah the five of wands i'm getting somebody's willing to willing to fight for you here yeah, the Palace of Wands. For the, this, somebody's very attracted to you. They're willing to fight for you. They're willing to, yeah, the Empress. Because they find you to be yeah, in the hard time. They find you to be the one. You're the one they want to be with. You're their divine feminine. Okay. Yeah, the High Priestess. Okay. What's the High Priestess? The Emperor. What's the High Priestess and the Emperor? Yeah, the Queen of Coins and the King of Cups. So this person could have been ha had a lot of secrets. Maybe you you were a, mis a mistress or something like that. Or they were, ma yeah, somebody could have been married here with the lovers. That could be a decision between two people. Maybe somebody was unwilling or could not make a decision here in the past. I'm getting they're making one now, though. I'm getting you're going to reject this person because they they lied. Yeah, the Page of Swords and the King of Wands. Somebody's very, very, very much stuck on being here, being with you here. They're literally stuck on the idea of that. Yeah, the world. But I'm getting something's over. Something is over here, at least for one person. Yeah, you're, the Page of Cups in reverse and the stress card. Yeah, you're holding back. You're restraining this person. This person you find to be immature or they don't. Yeah, the devil and the two. There's that two again in the Empress with the hard font. So I feel like you feel like somebody's toxic. They have up, obsessive ways. They can't control their sexual impulses here is what I'm getting. I'm getting it. You just with the high priestess, you see someone for, for who they are. Someone knows that they can't lie to you. I'm getting some of you uh, with the Emperor, High Priestess, and the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are doing very well financially. You're in the public eye. You're celebrated here. Okay. Somebody's deciding to be with this Libra. What is this um, energy here? Yeah, we have the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. And the Three of Swords with the Three of Cups. Yeah. Somebody was married. They lied about to you about being married. They had you in a third party. They were lying, holding secrets, the high priestess. But you found them out because you're the high priestess. Now this person is regretful or sad or heartbroken because they've lost you. 
you've moved on this person but they're obsessed with you three of swords now that you got what's the three of swords now that you got your back turned now somebody yeah the eight of wands somebody wants to come in this is an x here y'all that is coming in fast what's the eight of wands palace of swords that's been watching you heavy here they can't take their eye off of you they're obsessed with you period that's why the devil kept showing you yeah, the moon this person hid a lot of secrets they watch you in secret too the four of swords the seven of swords yep and the ace of wands yeah this person snuck off yep and the ten of cups with the water sign could be a pisces they went and had sex with them or whatever all right or they thought they was having it somebody's real secretive moon seven of swords very much a liar somebody betray you stabbed you in the back now this person all they do is watch you tell them to go be with that person they ran the fuck off with like why is they watching you where is that person at somebody wants somebody's all right yeah eight of pentacles somebody really is holding on to you they want to work it out they feel like a missed opportunity here with you just period they feel defeated wore down and tired all they do is fantasize about being with you or ways to come in towards you somebody really wants to work with you too but they betray you so bad they can't even do that period Yeah, somebody shook nine of swords and the seven of cups. Somebody's confused. Somebody's having a lot of dreams here and being woken up out of their sleep too. Somebody's haunted by, by their lies, by their actions or what they did or they didn't do. I'm getting somebody just has a habit of making wrong decisions. Two of swords in reverse. All right, so somebody's in, out of indecision here. Nine of swords, they want to rush in towards you. But eight of swords, ten of wands, they feel stressed or burdened or like they can't. Yeah, because five of swords, they play games or they or they lied about being in a relationship or whatever. Somebody really betray you and stabbed you in the back and now shit is over. Somebody really wants to come in. Yeah, five of swords. We have the five of swords, seven of swords, three of swords, and the ten of swords. This person did everything in their power to try to break you or, or to lie, to cheat, to con. All right? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Now they're stressed out. Eight of Cups because you walked away. Yeah, the devil. And the Two of Wands and the Empress. Now somebody's obsessed with the thought that they should have chose you or you walked away or you dropped this. I'm getting somebody very, very stressed out. Maybe I'm getting somebody slipped on some water and hurt their back too. Somebody can have very bad back, very bad back pain or 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 body pain. But somebody's obsessively planning on how to get this Libra back or how to communicate. See, this, this person is in regret and remorse here for, for, for what they did. Palace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Sun. They know that you would have been their ultimate happiness here, but they I feel like somebody just ruined that shit. I feel like it's over. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands. I feel like a shift is happening here. And you're going to actually be in a relationship with somebody that you can trust. Somebody that's not going to betray you. This person did everything in their power to break you. They could have talked shit behind your back. They were very jealous of you. Very hateful. Very nasty. Now somebody can't get you off their mind. They're obsessed with you. Now somebody's out of indecision. They're realizing it's you that they want. Okay, so those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Bye.